Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna teach you how to make wool dryer balls. And I have a helper with me today. You wanna tell them your name? Hi, my name is Adeline and I'm five years old. Yep, so she's gonna help me. She's also gonna tell you why you would wanna use a wool dryer ball rather than just dryer sheets that you would pick up at, you know, your grocery store, Target, wherever. Number one, they're cheaper. Number two, they dry your clothes faster. Number three, no chemicals. That's right, that's right. So that's why you wanna use these. I love that they dry clothes faster. And you can also get really good um, scents with them. So what I like to do is once they're done is add essential oils to them. You can use any brand of essential oils for this. I just so happen to have Young Living, but um, any will work. Um, some that I like is Purification, Thieves smells really nice. Um, Gentle Baby is a really nice one. I feel like that one smells nice and clean. Lavender, and then also Valor smells good. I like that in the, um, in the clothes. Right, what do they need to uh, make these? Just some wool and some essential oils and some hands. Yes, you definitely need your hands. Yep, 100% wool. I like to use roving yarn. It just seems to felt a little bit better. And we already used some of this yarn yeah, to make right. this big ball, or it's supposed to be as big like as a baseball or something. That's right, it's like as big as a baseball, perfect. Um, scissors, and then I have a felting needle, um, which is optional, you can just tuck the yarn in, um, but I have a felting needle, so I'm gonna use it. And then a pair of tights or hose or something to, um, to use in the end. So that's all you need, it's pretty simple. And why, when you're done, it, it might be kind of solid and that's okay mm -hmm. as soon as it gets as good as it can and it doesn't have to be as big as a baseball so it might get a little solid and that's okay yep that's okay that's what you want you ready to get started yes. okay we're going to show you how to do it so we're just going to kind of make a v with our fingers like this okay. just wrap it around this is going to be the very center yes of our ball yes Okay, then you're gonna slide it off your hands. Mm -hmm. I saw my mom do this before. Yeah. And Let's start see. wrapping around. crossways, yep. The very beginning is the trickiest part, at least for kids if you're having a child help you. <laughs> so it's best if an adult does this part just to get then, a nice base going. Then it's gonna get bigger than like, for example, your Little bit of an overcast day today and we are losing light so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the next step is here so just cut it off once you get it to the size that you would like for it to be and then one way to end this is to just tuck in the end because I have a felting needle I'm just gonna use it and you're just gonna stick just be careful these are super sharp I also like to go around to any pieces that look like um, they're a little loose just to make sure everything's nice and secure it's really fun and really fun to do it with your kids. If you have any that is tights. In the next part, you take some tights, toes, something, and put the ball in it. And tie a knot really tight. This is gonna help it to keep its shape while you wash them like that then we're gonna do another so once you're done with the balls and you have them in the tights or hose uh, make sure there's a knot in between each one and then you're gonna want to wash them two or three times 
in hot water, preferably with some towels or something like that. And then you're gonna wanna dry them in the dryer and then you can take them out. <laughs> you can take them out of the tights, add your essential oils, and then they are done. Okay, so we put the wool dryer balls that we made out of the yarn in the washer. I ran them through three cycles on hot and uh, with towels and um, one with sheets and then put them in the dryer and we did two cycles in the dryer on high heat. And then when they came out, you know, I cut them out of the tights and they were all nice and felted like this. They're not gonna come unraveled. We got two dryer balls per skein of yarn that we had and I got those on sale. So it ends up being pretty inexpensive to make your own wool dryer balls versus buying them. And they last a really, really long time. I'm going to get some more skeins of yarn and make some more because I'm due for a fresh set. I'm gonna show you how I add some essential oils to them just to add some scent to our laundry. I'm going to use Gentle Baby today. We have a new baby in the house. She's three months old, so I just feel like it's kind of appropriate to use something like this. I love the smell of this one. So I usually just do three or four drops per dryer ball. And this is something you can just repeat whenever you think it needs it. And if you want to do it more often or every time you put in a load of laundry just for added you know aromatherapy and scent of course you could do that it's not going to hurt anything I just like that it adds a, a good smell to the laundry it smells fresh and clean I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you will try making your very own wool dryer balls thanks for watching